Baby, I'm so proud of you. I can't believe you aced your final exam. I'm so glad all your hard work has been recognized finally. And you got the best score in the county. It's amazing. Everyone we know is so impressed with you. And I'm honored that I get to call such an amazing woman my girlfriend. Come here. And did you see that look on that woman's face when they announced how high a mark you got? <laughs> she was trying to smile and be all polite. But you could tell her underneath she was seething. Jealous woman. <laughs> yeah, okay, sorry, sorry. I know, I shouldn't be mean. Oh, you're too nice. But seriously though, you are so amazing. I'm so lucky to have you. And no, I will not stop saying that. This past couple of months has been incredible. I've just simply adored getting to hang out with you and getting to know you. So, thank you, baby. Hmm. You do know you're wonderful, right? Mm-hmm. Of course you are. Who else can make me smile this much? Hmm. Who else laughs at my terrible, cheesy dad jokes, huh? Mm. Well, let me hold you and kiss you. Mm. 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 No, don't leave just yet. Just, just let me hold you, just for a little while. Mm. Mm. No reason. I just, I just love being with you. I love your company. I love holding you, touching you, and kissing you. Mm. And in this dress, baby, this dress, oh my God, this dress looks so good on you. I will admit it was, it was hard to keep my eyes off you tonight. You looked absolutely stunning. Mm-hmm. Mm. Just seeing you awkwardly smile at all the compliments you were getting. It was so cute. But seriously, everyone wanted to remind you of how amazing you are tonight. And I, for one, completely approve and agree. Mm. Come here. Mm. Mm. <sighs> what do you do to me? Mm. It's funny as well how you seemed, you seemed so nervous whenever anyone important was speaking to you. Seems like my cutie little girlfriend was forced to act like a proper adult this time. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm. Oh, and I wanted to tell you that whilst you were busy being a superstar, I couldn't help but fantasize a little about what I was going to do to you when I, when I got you home and, and how I was going to help you out of that posh little dress that you've got on. Mmm, you look so delicious. Mmm, come here. Mmm, mm, baby. Mmm. Babe, what's wrong? Yeah, yeah, of course we can stop. Look at me, look at me. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, I'm so sorry. Uh, I didn't mean to... Baby, no, 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 please, please don't cry. No, no, I just thought, I don't know. Uh, I don't know what I thought. Um, what's wrong? Come here, come here, what's wrong? You can tell me anything. You know that. Uh-huh. So let's go, let's go sit in the kitchen. Um, I'm going to talk about this properly. No, 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 I'm not leaving until I'm sure you're actually okay, baby. No, don't you say sorry. It should be me who's apologizing. I never want you to feel uncomfortable with me or like I'm putting pressure on you to do anything. I'm so sorry, I just, I got carried away with the heat of the moment. We we're just having so much fun and, and how good you look. I wasn't thinking straight. Whatever's wrong, we can, we can talk about it. 
We're normally pretty good at finding a solution to our problems, no? Come on, we need to talk about this. Whatever it is, it's nothing that you should be embarrassed about. Oh. <laughs> okay. Is, is that it? Ah, no, no. Ah, it's completely fine. I mean, I mean, I won't say that I'm not a little bit surprised, but... I had an inkling of an idea it, it, it might be that. I mean, you, you've, you've dodged the subject of sex a few times now, and it's slightly unusual that, you know, we haven't uh, consummated our relationship just yet. I thought you were just waiting to make it special, you know? But either way, it's completely fine, baby. No, 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 it's fine, honestly. Oh, <laughs> you had me worried for a moment there. I thought, I thought you were going to tell me something really horrible, like someone had died or you'd been fired or even worse, you weren't attracted to me and you'd found somebody else. Hmm. Mm. No, no, I'm just surprised, that's all. We've, we've never really talked about it and something I've not really, really experienced before, but don't be embarrassed, babe. Why should, why should you feel embarrassed? I've never been to Buckingham Palace and met the Queen, so why should I feel embarrassed about that? Just because you haven't done something doesn't mean you should feel bad about it. There's absolutely no shame in waiting. And there's especially no shame about feeling a little nervous. Don't ever feel afraid to express what you feel to me, okay? I love you so much. Honestly, I actually quite like the idea that, you know, you've, you've never done it with anyone. It's actually kind of sexy that I could be the one to share this unique, special, amazing moment with you. Obviously, only when you're completely ready, though. Oh, come here and give me a hug. Mm. 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 Oh, cutie, I imagine you, you built all this up in your head and you're scared of how I'd react, but, but please, please know that I would never intentionally do anything to make you feel uncomfortable or pressured. Look at me, baby. Look at me now. You owe me nothing. Absolutely nothing, okay? My love for you, sex has nothing to do with it. Has nothing to do with how incredible I think you are, or how special you are to me, or how much you, you brighten up my day with just seeing you or hearing from you. I get a little tingle every time I see you've sent me a WhatsApp. I mean, it is a big deal. Your first time should be special. Don't let anyone ever tell you any differently. And well, to be the, and well, to be honest, the idea of making love to you excites me in my heart. I feel like all I'm capable of of doing is making love to you. It could, it could never just be sex. I could never connect with just your body. I want to connect with your soul. And you deserve that. I can wait. Okay, I can, I can wait, really. If you want me to be your first time, then take as long as you need, baby. Yeah, are you sure? No. Oh, I know you're nervous, baby. I can see you shaking a little bit, but... You've got nothing, nothing to be afraid of. But you, you really want to do it with me. That means so much. But let's not, let's not force this now. We can do it in the future. We could, we could set a date. We could make it special. Tonight, you just, we just need to chill. We can watch a film, we can snuggle up on the sofa, we can make some popcorn. Yeah. Yeah, we can put caramel on it. And, I don't know, one weekend, my place, I can, I can cook some dinner, lasagna you like. 
Oh. We'll make the place look pretty, light some candles, make the bed look nice. Maybe you can bring something to drink and we'll just see what happens. No pressure. If you want to, we can. If you don't, we'll just have a lovely night together. Okay? <laughs> Come here, you. <sighs> Can't believe you were so worried about it, baby. Mm. I love you. I love you so much. Mm. Mm-hmm.